Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic. Back to you again with another political reading. If you haven't seen my last presidential reading, I'll put a link to it up here. Um, I was not expecting to do this, but U.S. politics are literally in shambles right now. Chaos, fire, everything's on fire. It's crazy. Um, I actually have two other videos that um, I've filmed that have just gotten... Every time I film something, something else happens and they get pushed back. So you might get videos that were filmed like weeks ago uh, pretty soon here because um, they need to go up. But um, if you haven't heard the news, Biden has officially dropped out of the race, the presidential race election, um, and fully endorsed Kamala Harris. So it's looking like the odds of it being Kamala versus Trump are very high. Um, my last readings on this situation seem to be pretty accurate. Um, I did say that they needed a Hail Mary. Uh, this looks like the Hail Mary. So I'm going to kind of look at why um, Biden dropped out and then what's going to go on, like what's going to happen. And then I'll look a little bit at Kam Kamala. But uh, I think once again, this is one of those things where we're flying by the seat of our pants. I, I don't know how, you know, it, everything is changing every five minutes. You know, I don't even think they know what they're going to do. So it's going to be a little difficult to figure things out with tarot. But I will do my best. You guys have been asking for this on my social media. So I'll do my best. Please, please be kind in the comments. You guys have done amazing. I'm so proud of you guys and I'm proud of this community that I've built. And I'm very thankful that you guys have been respectful for the most part and kind. It really makes me happy. And I will continue to give you what you want as long as you behave. So... Um, remember these readings are all led to different tape purpose only and let's get started. Also, if you haven't joined the YouTube members, there's a link down below. There's a $5, $10, and $15 tier. You get access to exclusive videos with exclusive readings on celebrities and things like that that you won't see anywhere else. Um, and you get exclusive pick of cards and you can win a reading for me. So check that out. All right. All right. Let's look at Biden. Why did Biden drop out? Biden, Queen of Wands? What's Kamala's sign? I probably should have looked that up. What? Oh my God. Wait. It's not just his health. I'm sure that played a role in it, but it's not his health. He doesn't think he can win. I'm sure the health played a part in it. We all know that, right? Where we have eyes, we can see it, right? But that's not the main reason. Maybe that'll be the excuse they use, but it's it's because he thinks that he need he they need Queen of Wands, they need they he I'm like sh uh, stunned. I did not expect this. He feels like they need like a woman. Like they, they need some sort of like get, which makes sense the Hail Mary. Cause the Queen of Wands would be like Kamala or somebody else. I'm not sure if she's a fire sign. Sometimes Queen of Wands fire sign, but it doesn't matter. The Queen of Wands is a very strong, bold woman that pulls people in. So it's it's almost like him being like, we need somebody to pull in voters. Like we need like a female to pull in more female voters. Or, you know, I'm sure it's probably also like, you know, him thinking about like there's two old white men fighting. Like maybe we need somebody who isn't, you know, that stereotypical old, you know, white person, you know, that they bring in something else, like bring in different voters. Like there's like a fear here. Um, Cause the hermit is like isolation and alone. And the sun is about the people, the public, happiness, optics, queen of wands. So it's like, you know, the optics of a black woman, you know, sort of campaigning, hoping to draw more people in that way. It's smart. Um, I think this is the smartest decision that they've made. Um, uh, but that's kind of where they're at. I'm not sure if Kamala is guaranteed the ticket. I don't know how it works. I'm not like super knowledgeable on everything in politics because the Knight of Pentacles is consistency. The Page of Sword is wanting to fight for it. And the Ten of Wands is like a burden, which means that I don't know if Kamala was necessarily expecting this. I think she is a little bit nervous, but there is someone else here. There feel, feels like another female energy here 
dot. And I don't know if this will be a fire sign. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't. Yeah, can't really tell because Queen of Wands sometimes is just a bold woman, right? Um, or feminine energy. Um, but the Ten of Wands. There's someone else here that feels a duty and a responsibility to step up. So there is someone else that is interested in running for the Democrats. I don't really know who that would be. I mean, I know you guys are going to throw chairs at me and be like, you're ignorant. How do you not know that? I don't follow, so I don't really know. Um, Three of Pentacles, John, Page of Wands Reverse, Nine of Wands Reverse, Walking on Eggshells, Saying One Thing and Doing Another. There, I definitely think that this, okay. I mean, I know this was a surprise to us, but I think this was a surprise to everyone. I think he said he wasn't going to do this and then he just decided to do it. Um, but I also am a little worried here because it feels like there's a focus on trying, to, there's some sort of focus or a campaign on getting jobs, getting Americans jobs. There's some sort of focus on that. I don't know if that's going to be someone's uh, campaign. I know I said money is going to be a big factor, but it feels like jobs. Somebody, is it going to be like is there an issue with like overseas jobs or something? There's something about that in the campaigns here. Perhaps it's like, yeah, see, it's like outsourcing maybe to other countries. Maybe that'll be an issue. I'm not sure. There's some sort of focus on jobs. Um, lovers, card reverse, and seven of wands. Kamala does not want to do what Biden wants to do. They have very different opinions. So if Kamala gets this run, you're going to see an entirely new campaign at least if she gets her say, because she wants to switch everything up. Um, but there's this other, there's a dark horse that I see kind of like ed edging in here. Um, Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands. The optics aren't good. She's not really well liked, which we saw. I definitely still see them picking apart her physical appearance. I saw that in the last one. Um, there's someone else. There's someone else that they feel like like people really like and is, you know, really striking and beautiful and confident. And there's like this other I feel another female energy. I guess it doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be female. Feminine energy just means that someone is softer and um sort of more nurturing. Um, but men can show up as Queen of Wands, you know. Queen of Wands is my significator. Um and it doesn't always mean you're gay either, so don't start. Um but the Two of Cups is there. The Knight of Cups is reversed. You know what's interesting? Seven of Swords is a, is a vic victory. Two of Cups relationship. Couple? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Knight of Cups immaturity? Prematurity. So someone... Hmm. I just see someone feeling like they have a duty to the American public to try. And I see them wanting the ticket. That's not Kamala. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, I see people being pretty split about who to choose when it comes to the Democratic Party or who they would prefer between the, between Kamala and someone else. Um, that being said, uh, it's interesting because Trump's energy is different. I'm like, in Trump's energy, it's softer. I wonder if like the assassination attempt kind of I don't know if the word humbled is right. I think that that's not the right word. Softened. Softened. Um, there's a softening in him. I really think it scared the shit out of him. I mean, it, it would have scared the shit out of anyone almost dying, you know? It changes your life. So there's like this softness. And I also think he's going to struggle because they're like the Three of Cups is reversed and the Four of Pentacles. That's like a greedy, selfish card, right? And the magician is like um, communication. And when it's reversed, it's like bad communication, poor communication. And the three of cups is like gossip, jealousy, comparing yourself to other people. Essentially what that is, is like shit talk, right? And he's great at it, right? There's probably nobody better than him at, you know, giving you a sound bite, right? And I think for him, he had a lot of really good quips, um, you know, in his repertoire for Biden and everything like that, right? He's had years for that. I think that he kind of doesn't know how to the optics of him shit talking a woman are very different than the optics of him shit talking a man and 
for some reason, normally I don't think he would care. Like he should talk with him before, but for some reason there, he's fearful about how he's going to kind of like talk shit in, in, in the debates and things like that, because I think he's worried about losing voters. Like there's a conscious fear of him. Like if there's a woman that runs, how am I going to navigate my strategy? Because it's almost like, I don't know if it's like kicking a puppy. I don't think that's the way to describe it. It's like, um, it's like you have to second guess yourself and you have to like really think through what you're going to say. And that's not how he is. He's a Gemini. They're off the cuff. So he's just like, it's like, it's an adjustment. I think his campaign managers and stuff like that, I think they're all worried about the optics as well, about him losing voters because he's talking to a woman that way. I, that's, I think it's other people too getting in because I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, um, assassination attempt. I see that softening him and it's made him second guess some things and he's relying more on his people. Um, which is not normal. I think he'll probably eventually snap out of that, right? I don't expect anyone to tell Donald Trump what to do for very long. But he's in this weird sort of like phase right now. It's like he's weakened and so is the Democratic Party. So it's like there's this weird... Energetically, this election is weird. Like it's weak. It's weak. Both sides are so weak. Like, I'm like, I can't like grasp the energy fully. It's like they're, they're sinking. I'll tell you what I see. Cause I, I see in pictures, they're both, I see a red ship and a blue ship and they're both, they have holes in them and they're just sinking. And then when it comes to election day, both of the ships are sunk. And I see people looking, being like, where are the ships? Where are the ships? Where are the ships? It's like they're in the ballot booth and they can't find the people on the ballot. Like, where are they? So I'm like, what? What is going on with this election? There's something off about it. I don't think you can delay an election, right? I'm trying to figure out if that's a metaphor for something. I'm like, I don't think you can delay an election or stop an election, right? I don't know. I don't... I'm not really able to interpret this. This is the first time I've done something like this and the first time I'm seeing something like this. I'm like, it's a guarantee that they're on the ballot, right? Like, these people, like, there's no way they're not going to... Are we sure these are the people that are running for president now? Like, I I guess I have to do my research to figure out, like, how that works. But something's off, is all I'll say. It, they're malleable. Like, they're, they're changing. So it's like, I can't tell if it's like all of their policies are going to start changing, their personalities are slightly changing, or if it's like the actual people on the ballot are going to be different come election day. Like, I can't figure out. I don't know if it's literal or not. Wow, this is weird. They, their energy is like off. Okay, um, Queen of Pentacles verse, Ace of Cups, and King of Swords. I... What? Why does Donald Trump actually like Kamala? This to me is him, Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Even though he like has, to, he would have to go against her, and you know it's like you know may the best man or woman win, because he's competitive. He likes her, King of Swords, Ace of Cups. I'm confused. You like her? It's I can see him. In, he, the picture I'm seeing is him almost like salute her, which to me means like he respects her. I see him respecting her. Why? I don't really know what she was doing before she was vice president. So it's like what was she doing what was her job like why was he so why does he respect her so much like he has a lot of respect for her it's weird it's funny because i don't think the public and especially the republican party i don't think they're afraid of going up against kamala too much other than the optics of that one thing i said trump is I don't know why. There's like lines he won't cross with Kamala. It's weird. It's like his own code of conduct. There's something about Kamala that he's like, I wouldn't say intimidated. He respects her and is like, kind of like, fuck. What is this, dude? He likes her.
Fool, Five of Cups, and Queen of Cups. I'll say this. Right now, what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is Obama. Obama was a great speech giver, right? Always led with empathy in his speeches. I'm pretty sure that's why he became president because he was so good at, spe at speaking, right? And Queen of Cups, Fool, out of nowhere, last minute, right? And I definitely see someone coming in last minute. But regardless, Five of Cups, America is all sad and depressed and disappointed. The Fool would be out of nowhere, spontaneous, right? Could be Kamala, right? Makes sense. And then the Queen of Cups, America needs sensitivity. Like America needed Obama when Obama was in because Obama brought empathy to America. And that's why Americans voted him, right? right? That makes sense. And America needs empathy again. And so if Kamala, whoever, comes in and is a good speaker and is able to connect to people and share emotion and get America to feel safe, that would be the meal ticket. That would be the, the, the way to win. Because I'm seeing coming in with love, leading with emotion, leading with care, leading with nurturing. I wonder if America really is ready for a woman president, finally. I don't know who's going to win, but I can tell you what. I think a woman would be a very strong competitor up against Donald Trump. Just because I feel like America is emotionally ready. Emo Americans need to feel and women are much more suitable to bring out that emotion than most men and i feel like that's a big big point for the the democratic party if they were to go with a female interesting they would have to switch up their strategy though and they would have to they would have to lead with emotion and sensitivity and kindness and caring. At the end of the day, I told you though, Americans, uh, as, uh, it's going to come down to the money, saving Americans money. That's why I said something with Jaws, but it's 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 going to come down to saving Americans with money. But I mean, leading with that emotion, that'll get the public on 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 back on on track. Because right now, like the public is kind of like, I don't really know anything about Kamala. I don't really know anything about any of these people. Like. I don't feel anything. They're kind of like making memes of them, whatever, but it's not like anything like deep. The way to get their attention would be the sensitivity. And then afterwards, the way to get their vote. So you have to get their attention and then the way to get their vote would be the money. But I don't know. That's This is kind of what I see. I, 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 I think Biden just feels like she has a better chance, <laughs> truly. And I don't think he's wrong. Um, that's it. I'm going to kind of leave it there. I feel like this reading is all over the place. I don't know if you guys are going to really like this one. Um, yeah, Trump is in a weird place, you guys. Like a really weird place right now. And the Democratic Party is on fire right now. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, please be kind in the comments. Join the YouTube members. Bye.